Now with our series Disconnected about how all this technology designed to bring us together may actually be doing the opposite for many of our kids. Tonight, social media anxiety and the pressure to be liked by getting likes on what our young people post online. NBC's Rahema Ellis has this report. For many kids, life is often lived inside their phone. On Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. I check my phone a lot. Probably very excessive. I do use it a lot. As 14-year-old best friends, Kiara, Zenab, and Patty are like teens of every generation, eager to socialize, fit in, be accepted. But in a digital age, experts say, social media can sometimes cause likes anxiety based on how many people like a post. I do feel as if the more likes I get, the happier I will be. Of the 92% of teens who say they go online daily, a quarter of them are connected almost constantly. Teens on Facebook average 150 friends, on Instagram, 100 friends. Experts say that's a lot of social pressure, a lot of voices liking or not liking. Who doesn't like to get likes, you know? We've all been handed these devices without education, and it's, I like to equate it to throwing a child in a pool without any swimming lessons. Sometimes what they see online can hurt. It's called FOMO, fear of missing out. Sometimes I do have FOMO because like sometimes I won't get invited to something and my friends will start posting it on social media and then I'll like be like upset that I wasn't invited. Experts say it's weekend. important for parents oh, to really set like boundaries. So parents, age. do not lose your moral compass. Do not lose your parental authority. Do not cave. You have to be in their head. You have to, do, your kids have to think about the things you taught them. These teens don't let social media define them. I also like to see my friends in person and kind of have that sort of social face-to-face. -face. Some people are gonna like it, some people are not. Just, we have to deal with it. Best friends online, but careful to stay connected to the real world. Rahima Ellis, NBC News, Roslyn.